Hi, it's Andy, and this is another Android Firebase tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to add a new escape room to our online database. Um, so we need a way to do that. So what I've done in our main activity is actually created a floating action button so that we can launch another activity that we're going to call new escape room. And from here, we're going to grab some uh, some data from the, from the user, uh, the name, address, and URL that makes up an escape room object and then save that into the database. This is actually very, very simple. So a uh, few things to note is that in our database, uh, our the where we want to actually save this is a child of the escape room finder called rooms. Um, so we need to know this actual name for a little bit later. Also, we've enabled user authentication in the last video uh, so that we can make sure that only people who are reading and writing the data in our database um, are authenticated users. So that's why this auth does not equal null is put in on the read and the write side. All right, so I have the emulator loaded up and I've already logged in under myself. So let's see what this is gonna look like first and then we can go into the code on how to do it. So here's our floating action button. And then here's our next activity that um, we're going to grab the name, address, and URL. So uh, let's create a fake one. And we'll just say it's Boca Raton, Florida. And and then when we hit save, closes out of there, opens up the main activity, it's automatically uh, synced with online, and here's our new um, room here on the bottom. Then when we load up the database, you'll see that our new room here, when we expand it out, it has been added. All right, let's see how we did it. So in our main activity, we're gonna just create a little floating, reference the floating action button and uh, put a little on-click listener that's going to call an intent to load the, our new escape room. So in our escape room activity, I actually get that because I was going to do a progress bar, but it's actually so quick that it's kind of pointless. So um, our uh, new escape room has three edit text and a button. So we're going to make our um, references up here and then we're going to initialize them down here and then what we need to know is where we're going to save our object in the database so we need to call a database reference or create a, a variable database reference and then we're going to initialize that down here right afterwards so that's a firebase database dot get instance dot get reference I said we also need to know the name of uh, the child inside this database, and we're going to use that later down here. So um, earlier, I created uh, this object escape room, and when we initialize it uh, in the next, when we create an object, we're it, we have three strings that it's going to take: a name, an address, and a URL. Uh, I had this previously, so this was uh, actually code that we're going to get around to actually using. Um, so when we um, create an escape room ob Java object, it's going to reference, it's going to create the same object actually in our database. So escape room equals new escape room, and it's going to take in the three strings. So to get the uh, text from an edit text and create it into a string is take it, get text, to string, and we're going to do that times three. So for name, address, and URL. Then we're going to actually push it to the database. So we're going to get our database reference, get the child, which is rooms, which coincides with this exactly as it's written. Um, then we're going to push, and then our value, which is a Java object. It, you can actually push a bunch of things, but this is the easiest way to do it, is actually just to create your Java object. Um, it's how you're going to... We've already created this earlier to coincide for our um, 
our uh, main activity inside our recycler view. So um, we're just going to create one and push it to the, our database. And then we call finish and that closes that activity, goes back to the main activity and refreshes the database there. Um, since it's a real-time database, it's automatically listening for changes on the cloud. And uh, that's it for the tutorial. It's really, really easy to save items into your own uh, database. So hope you like this and have a good night.